Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to perform a compression test on an AP1 Honda S2000. Performing compression tests is an easy way to get a general idea of the health of a motor and it's extremely useful to know. Anyways, onto the DIY. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your motor is warm and at operating temperature. With the car turned off, start by removing the spark plug cover by removing the four bolts securing the spark plug cover to the cylinder head cover with the 5mm hex drive. Prepare the coil packs for removal by removing the four 10mm bolts holding the coil packs to the cylinder head cover. Once those are removed, you can disconnect the four coil pack connectors and pull the coil packs out of the spark plug two bolts. Remove the spark plugs using a spark plug socket, an extension, and a ratchet. You may need to use a rubber mallet against the ratchet to break the spark plugs loose. Remove the fuel pump fuse from the fuse box under the dash. The fuel pump fuse is the second fuse from the top on the right hand column. It will be marked with a 15 on the top. If you don't have a fuse puller, you can use a set of tweezers like I did. Thread the compression tester into the spark plug tube hole for cylinder number one. Be very careful not to thread the compression tester too tightly so you can easily remove it later. Turn the ignition on, hold the throttle pedal to the floor, Hold the clutch pedal to the floor and finally press the starter button until the car cranks about 8 to 9 times. Move to the compression tester and look at the pressure gauge to see the reading that was recorded. Write down the reading and press the button below the gauge to release the pressure. Lastly, unthread the compression tester from the spark plug tube hole and move on to the next cylinder. Now repeat steps 6 to 8 for cylinders number 2, number 3, and number 4. Additionally, while you are testing a cylinder, you should get at least two readings for that cylinder so that you can make sure that the readings are consistent. You can do this without removing the compression tester by just relieving the pressure on the tester. Once you are done testing the cylinders, you will need to replace the spark plugs using a spark plug socket, an extension, and a torque wrench. Tighten them to 21 foot-pounds. Replace the coil packs by inserting them into the spark plug tube holes. Connect the four coil pack connectors and tighten the four 10mm bolts holding the coil packs to the cylinder head cover. Then tighten them to 8.7 foot-pounds. Replace the spark plug cover by installing the four bolts securing the spark plug cover to the cylinder head cover with a 5mm hex drive. Lastly, don't forget to replace the fuel pump fuse. Then make sure your car starts up normally. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. If you have an idea for a future DIY video you'd like to see, please share it in the comments.